Cushman Dog and Fish Tank TV. Wanted to introduce those of you who aren't familiar with this particular variety. It may look like a goldfish, it's not. It may look like a koi, but it's not. It is a shabunkin, which is kind of similar to the two, but its own, own unique variety. Um, if you're familiar with koi, you may have noticed that the fins on this are a lot lacier and a lot more elongated, which uh, we absolutely think is beautiful. Nice, beautiful, iridescent blue color to this particular one. They come in all different color types, uh, much like koi. The difference is, um, this particular one we got when he was really, really little. He's been an outdoor aquapon in Arizona at well over 100 degrees, 115 degrees, and done just fine. He's also been down to the really cold winter desert temperatures. He's been, you know, right at freezing. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Um, we have noticed some issues with koi before um, with some of the temperature swings, and they didn't like it quite so much in the heat. Um, every shabunkin we've ever had has done really really well um, hot cold they're also very a little more personable um, actually you can see him right at the front of the tank here kind of begging I mean they recognize you and they kind of come up and beg for food a little bit more personable than I guess some of the goldfish that I've run into so we can't recommend them enough I'm absolutely thrilled we're using him right now this is very hardy we're using him to cycle this 90 gallon bow front that we're getting ready to start up so that is the shabunkin if you get a chance they're uh, not extreme exceedingly common they're not uncommon i mean if you live in a major metro area you should be able to run across some um, you have to do a little bit of searching though they're not uh, they're not that common but if you run across them um, it would definitely be worth the time and investment if you have the capability to hold them. <clears throat> Obviously, this fish could grow to full full size probably in this 90 gallon bow front. So, to grow them all the way out, you would want a, a larger size aquarium or an outdoor pond.